Khan. This is the first bout of the evening. Both individuals, Akmal Khan and Fida Khan, both in red wearing white. Both fighters are throwing at it. Akmal is doing the Mike Tyson style. He's rope doping. Yeah, thanks, Ali. I think uh, this is going to be a great fight. I mean, they both came out aggressive, and uh, you know, you can see the fire in his eyes. There you go. Yeah, the both there both you go. fighters both are connected. swinging. Both fighters are swinging, throwing haymakers, looking for the knockout. I, th I think they're not taking their time. That's, that's yeah. one of the mistakes. You're yeah. getting too aggressive. You need to the analyze beginning. the first few minutes of the fight to see how your opponent reacts to the feints and the punches. But both fighters are extremely calm, keeping their distance, throwing the jabs to measure the distance. I think he's timing as well. So if you can see like how he's distancing him, that's the way to do it. Yeah. There you go. That's the way. He's against the ropes. Akmal Khan is 1-0 and Fida Khan is making his pro debut tonight. Both, pa both fighters are from Pakistan fighting in the Bantamweight division. Both fighters are going at it, throwing punches, measuring with the jab. They're taking it easy. This event is brought to you by AK Promotions, the biggest promotion of boxing in Pakistan. This event is sponsored by One Athletic, Pound for Board Academy, S Suites, Razor Edge, AK Promotions, Maurice Andrews, Maurice Andrews and Solicitors, Africana, Ooh, and that's MPK a good right there. Ali, why were you doing your props? I think you missed some uh, really good two shots. Yeah, these fighters are you know, being so calm and people don't understand that this is what they're taking in. This is all the data they're taking in and then they're going to unload. There you go, he and the fighters, two shots. The fighters are unloading. They're in a clinch situation right now. Oh, wow. Oh, what, what a, a right beautiful hand. over right hand. He's got his neck. I think Pedro's really glitch. pushing for it. So I think he's... He Both fighters are throwing haymakers. He lands a great one-two. He's going for the body, but misses. Yeah, I think Ali, that's uh, that's a smart way to do it. So if I were him, if I was Fida, I would just take my sweet time and just time him right. So I think he's just rushing it a little bit too much. There you go. You see it that way. So just take your time. Take your sweet time. Timing is key in boxing and technique. Both fighters are taking time. They land a le left hook, a right hand. He's missing. The head movement by these fighters is outstanding. They're throwing haymakers, they're missing, he just pushes him back. Wow, big shots have landed, big shots, he's landing the jab. See, he's got his momentum for the jab going now. Yeah, I don't like the way he's charging him, so I think this is, he's putting himself at harm's way. And you have 10 seconds now, so let's see what he does. He's against the ropes, he's pushing them, referee's gonna break these guys, they should break him. Now Hassan is joining us, now Hassan is joining us for the commentary. Again, There you go, seconds out. Here we go, once again. Referee's almost settled. Uh, he just wants uh, something cleared from uh, the ring. There we go. I don't know, Hassan, it's, it's, it's an even, even fight, man. I mean, I, I think they are both swinging to the fences. And uh, who do you fancy more? Do you like Akmal or do you like Fida in this fight more? Fida's got so much energy, he comes out swinging. Just uh, getting his opponents on the wrong end. Good left hook right there. Another one. He just slipped. But uh, the referee comes in between. Yeah, I think I think that was a slip. So it could have been ruled as a knockdown, but that was clearly a slip from, from where I'm looking at it. But this is this this is a great fight. It's action-packed. This is what boxing's for you, right? So you get your money's worth. So enjoy this fight while it's on PTV Live. Absolutely brilliant entertainment brought to you by PTV and Ami Khan. Promotions and a big left hook. Catching him right there. Fida Khan, his, his legs might be a little dwindling, but uh, he's, he, he recovers his balance, comes back with another combination. Awesome one-two punch combination. So he just needs to take his time. He needs to, he needs to relax a little bit. I think they're, they're way too aggressive and way too tense. There you go, that's the way to do it. See the way he's backing up? That's the way to do it. Just size him up, nice, n nice bobbing and weaving. That's the way to do it. That's how we do it. Easy. Take your time. There you go. He reminds me of uh, Frazier. He reminds me of Joe Frazier. He, his height is like Joe Frazier a little bit, right? It's like a mini <laughs> Joe Frazier, and he's swinging to the fences. Maybe he watched his tape a little bit too much. <laughs> Absolutely. So many inspirations uh, over the years this boxer must have seen. And uh, a very Frazier-like punch there from uh, 
Fidel Khan he, as, the, as the boxer squares up again with uh, another combination. Now they've just they've lot of lost a bit of energy, have they? Or <laughs> just answers for me with a, with another combination. You know what? The more I look at Fedor, the more he looks like Frazier, man. I mean, I, I I swear to God, this guy looks like. Oh, there you go. He, he had a one right hand punch. That's not good for him. Oh, another one. Another one. That's that's three punches in a row. That he is going taking to the cleaners. AKB was taking his time, but he's finding his momentum now, landing those punches, finding those gaps in his opponent's defense, uh, and this is getting up for a great fight. Absolutely, I think, uh, I think, and that's 10 seconds out. I like the long reach. I, I think he's got a good jab. He's keeping the distance. He's keeping him at bay. I mean, uh, even though Fidel is coming out with more aggression like that, there you go. But these are just wild shots. I don't like wild shots in the ring, to be honest with you. I want to see a little bit of a more finesse from him. There you go. He's, gonna, he's just going to keep on going that all night long. The jab controls the fight. He's got the distance. He's got the reach. There you go. There you go. See? That's, that's what I like to see. What, what about you, Hassan? Uh, absolutely, I agree with you. I think Fida knows with his lack of reach and height advantage, just trying to get into the grey loft, the other boxer, trying to keep the contents closed, but with the fighter with the more reach, is absolutely trying to keep it at bay, use that jab constantly. And there goes another one. That was a good hit. Catching his mouth guard there, and that's the end of the round. Round two in the books. I mean, if he wants to knock this guy out, that's his chance right now. If not, it's going to get uh, you know really, really hard since this is a four-rounder fight. Absolutely. So both fighters come out swinging as well. They know it's just two rounds remaining now. Putting the jab in and trying to find that opening. And there he found one with another right hook. Both boxers just swinging at each other now. Absolutely. I mean, look, like I said, he is swinging for his dear life. Uh, that's not the way to do it. Uh, but you know what? One punch can change the outcome of the fight. You never know. If he throws a one right amazing haymaker, that's it. Boom, and there, there she rolls. Absolutely. Now, both boxers, still the guy with the more reach, still going for the jab. Still going for the jab. And he swings in with the right hook, misses, and almost catches out himself. Both fighters just going at each other now. Yeah, they're actually talking to each other. So I think uh, definitely they don't like each other. There's some definitely some uh, animosity there. You can definitely sense it here sitting ringside. Uh, but hey, you know what? Time is running out. So if Fidel wants to win this fight, he better bring it. Fidel's got to land some big punches now to turn the cards around from what uh, we at the commentary box are judging at the moment. Uh, AKB definitely going ahead in the fight. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There you go. See, wild shots, wild haymakers, right? Wild hooks. I don't think so that's going to help him win the fight. But I like this kid's footwork. He's nice. I mean, he's durable. He's taking punches. There you go. You see one-two punch combination. He keeps taking it. And what I like is the clinches. He likes when he knows he's hurt. So he clinches. That's the professional way to do it. But he's doing it way too much. Judges are not going to like that. Yeah, I think I think there's. Uh, it's quite clear that uh, the height reach and uh, the punching reach of his opponent is just going to have to do something different. He's trying to get in there, trying to get into the grill and make this a contest, which is a close fight next to each other's body. But uh, he's not been able to do that for now. And there's another clinch, as you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, clinching is smart, but I don't think so. He needs clinches at this point. So again, he's swinging for defenses, wild shots. They might not win the fight. That's the way to do it. I really like what Akmal is doing. He's got the control of the fight. He's in the, he's in the middle of the ring. He brings him to the center. He's boxing in the pocket. That's the way to do it. One, two, three punch combinations. You know, he's on point. There you go. That's the way to do it. Jab, jab all night long, baby, all night long. Absolutely. And you can see by the look of both boxers that uh, Akmal looks way more relaxed. He, even he's, he's, he hasn't broken as much of a sweat as his opponent has does, and his opponent's face is going red here. So there he lands another jab again. Jab all day, isn't it? Jab all night long, man. All night long. There you go. A jab is what wins you the fight. And uh, as you heard, 10 seconds to go in the third round. This is a four-round four round bite in the Bentman division. And there goes, that's the end of the third round. Well, each how, how region, each uh, locality has their own sort of thing about how they prepare their boxes, and that's something new we've seen. But uh, as we start the fourth round, <coughs> fourth and final round in this Bantman weight category for uh,
Fida Khan and Akmal. Keep going. Yeah, like you said, Hassan. I mean, uh, fourth and final round. Uh, I mean, these guys have barely, what, two minutes and 33 seconds left. So he better bring it if he wants to win something. But this is great. I mean, this has been a great fight. It's an action-packed fight. I mean, I'm sitting ringside. I'm enjoying it. I don't know about yourself. And I hope the, the fans sitting at home are enjoying this fight live on PTV for free. Uh, pr uh, brought to you by AK Promotions. Well, I'm almost uh, stepping on my toes and, you know, just punches going by myself here. But uh, that's how, how exciting this fight is. A historic event here as uh, AK Promotions bring this in Lahore, in the Governor House Punjab. And both the fighters in the first fight, last round, going at each other. That's a slip. That's a slip. I think that's a slip. Or no, you know what? The referee's going to give him... He's going to give him a warning. He's going to take one point off. I think that's the fight right there, Hassan. If you're, if you're, you're already losing and you take... So, yeah. So, so hold for holding. So he's he's gonna take one point off for holding. Absolutely, as you were saying, too much clinching, and the referees step in and take a point off him. I think he's got to come up with something big, or uh, Akmal's got this one, hasn't he? No, I think Akmal's got this one. I, I was a little surprised that the referee uh, took one point off for holding. I mean, it is as it is at his discretion; he can do that. But you know, I would have loved to seen him give him some warning. But I think he has had enough of him clinching all night long. That's what I was saying, Hassan. He's clinching all night long, and that's that's no bueno in boxing. Absolutely, and, and the referee might have had a word with him on, on the sidelines, but uh, yeah, the referee taking one point from him there as this fourth round comes down to the finish. I love the shoe shine. He's, he, see what he's doing right there in the pocket? He's shoe shining him. It's called shoe shining in boxing. There you go. One, two, one, two, in and out. One, two, in and out. I love what he's doing. This guy is good. I am becoming a fan of him. So I think he, he's got the fight. Uh, you know, he's already up on the scorecards. He's up on my scorecards. We will find out what the official scorecard is in a bit. But this is great. This is great for boxing. I love it. Lahore, you are having a blast here. Absolutely. So many inspirations for so many youngsters uh, as they see these boxers battle it out. Akmal Khan looking the far more composed, far more elegant, stepping in, stepping out with these jabs and one-two combinations, and Fida just having to rely on those big swings thus far. Absolutely, I can't agree uh, more than you. So I think uh, the problem with Fida is he's not actually taking directions well from his corner. You can see that you know his coach is screaming, but I think he just wants to do what he wants to do. Uh, but mad props to him. I mean, he did his best, but I think uh, on this occasion, the height and the reach is just way too much for him to handle. Like, it, it is, the reach is too good, as you can see there. Ten seconds out. Ten seconds to go in the final round. And the boxers uh, once again come close to each other. And, uh, oh, an uppercut there. Might have been a low blow. There goes the bell. And that's the end of the fourth round and the match. There you go, Austin. As you can see, the, uh, we can see it. We can see it on the replay. You know, he's going there with the uh, shoe shine one-two combinations. Too much clinching. That's why the ref took one point off uh, from him. This was a cracker fight by both individuals. Akmal displayed a wonderful set of skills using his jab, utilizing his distance, keeping his feet steady on the ground. Fida threw, threw a lot of haymakers. He got in and out, but he didn't land you know, many significant strikes. And on my scorecards, I believe Akmal Khan has won this round. Let's go to the judges' scorecard for the decision. I would like to thank our official sponsors, One Athletic, Pound for Pound Academy, S Suites, MTK Global, Amir Khan Promotions, Maurice Andrews Solicitors, Africana, Razor Edge. We're waiting for the judges' scorecard for the decision right now. And uh, we would like to thank BBC, who is officially sanctioning this entire event. And because of them, no events could be sanctioned in Pakistan. But ladies and gentlemen, the yes, official the decision. Fight with a unanimous decision, same score by the three judges 36 40, 36 40, 36 40. The winner for the first part of tonight, Akmal Khan! Good job, no, no surprise here. Like I said, all night long, his jab did the key. Jab is what wins you the fight. He controlled the distance, Ali. I like the way this kid was, uh, you know, come, uh, fighting with his heart out. So he did a great, great job. And congr congratulations. Thank you.